Okay, so today we will be building a scalable three-tier infrastructure with VPC, EC2, and ALB using Terraform. So, let me bring VS Code here and show you the manifest files. So, this is the Terraform block. We are providing the required versions, AWS versions, null resource version, and the provider block of AWS with the region set to US East 1. This is a Terraform variable, input variable files, AWS region to US East 1. Environment is set to development. So coming back to, coming forward to the VPC modules. We are giving the, this is a VPC basic details with the name, the CIDR block, availability zones, public subnets and the private subnets. This defines the database subnets, the NAT gateway, we are enabling the NAT gateway here, the DNS parameters for the VPC variables. This is the variables. We are giving it the name of custom VPC. We are defining a CIDR block of 10.16.0.0 slash 16. And uh, in availability zones, US East 1A and US East 1B. Going forward, we will be defining our VPC public subnets in this CIDR block and the private subnet in the given CIDR block. The database subnets is given in this side of block. Okay, for the VPC output file, we are asking it to provide us with the VPC ID, the VPC side of block, private subnet IDs, private subnet I public subnet IDs, the NAT gateway public IP addresses, and the list of availability zones. This is the VPC auto TFR file where we are providing the name, custom VPC, the CIDR block, availability zone, the public subnets, the private subnets, database subnets. So this is the security group for the public bastion host where we are allowing SSH access to the entire internet. And this is a security group for our EC2 instances in the private subnet. As you can see, only the CIDR block is allowed in our ingress. Our ingress rules is for SSH access and also the HTTP 80. Coming forward, this is the security group for the application load balancer we are giving the ingress rule ingress rule of HTTP 80 and the CIDR block of from the internet entire internet and this is the output file for our security group where we are asking for public bastion host security group ID the public security group VPC ID public security group name and likewise same for the pub private subnet private security groups this is the data source for our linux ami id this is the ec2 instance which is which is located in our private subnets we are giving it a name ami id instance type key name and security group ids also, it depends on the VPC module. These are the subnet IDs that we are providing it. Going forward, this is the EC2 instance in the bashing host name, AMI, instance type, key name, subnet ID, and VPC security group IDs. Going forward, this is the EC2 instance variables. Where the variable we are providing it is the instance type, is T2 micro. 
instance key pair this is the key pair the pem file and this is the output file of the ec2 instance module where we can see we are asking it for public bash and host instance ids public bash and host ip addresses private instance ids and the ip and the ip addresses further this is the auto tfrs for the ec2 instance this is the elastic ip that we are creating and also the null resources that we are creating this is the connection block the provisioner for the file and the provisioner for the remote access this is the module file for the application load balancer we are providing it the source and the version further we are providing it a name the application load balancer type is application VPC ID we are providing it the security cross work we are providing and the subnets we are providing it a listener type HTTP TCP listeners and we are providing it a target group with a name prefix of TGALB backend protocol of HTTP and backend port of 80 and the target type of instance we are enabling the health check also the protocol version is HTTP 1 and for the targets we are providing our first EC2 instance the private in the private subnet and the second EC2 instance in our private subnet also for the output file of the ALB we are pro we are asking it to provide us with the application load balancer id the load balancer arn load balancer dns name arn suffix zone id tcp and http listener arns tcp and li http listener ids https listener arns https listener ids target group arns target group arn suffixes target group names and the target group attachments so let me bring the terminal now ls c2 into the terraform manifest files let us now initialize with terraform in it this command will initialize our Terraform backends and the Terraform modules. Okay, so Terraform has been successfully initialized. Now we will be going and validating our manifest files. It will see if there is an error in our manifest files. Okay, success, the configuration is valid. Let's go forward and do a Terraform plan. This will give us all the infrastructure in a plan format that we will be deploying. So let us wait. Okay, so, so now it has given us all the things that it will be generating for us. And uh, in total, there are 43 resources in total that it will create for us now let us do terraform apply now it will ask us to give it action we will type yes for it but let us wait yes here's a value we will enter a value of yes and enter now we will wait till all the resources in will be created in AWS okay so let us check it is giving us that uh, the apply has been completed on 43 resources have been added this is the output 
the AWS Management Console and first let us go to VPC and then we will be going towards EC2 instances. So in the VPC Management Console we can see that we have two VPCs. One is a default one and the other one is that what we created just now through Terraform, the custom VPC. There are subnets, 12 subnets in total, NAT gateway that we've created route tables, internet gateway, so there are security groups also. Let us go to the VPC and let us check out. This is the VPC that we created. And uh, let us go to the resource map. In the subnets, there are six subnets, three in US East 1 and the three in US East 1B. Okay, so this is a CIDR block that we provided. Now let us go to the subnets. These are the subnets that which we created this six subnets. Two are in the public subnet, two are private and two are for the DB, also private. Route tables, internet gateway that we created and NAT gateway so here's a NAT gateway now let us go towards EC2 dashboard this is the EC2 management console let us go to the instances that are running and these are the three instances that we created one is a development bastion host one is and these two are in this one and this one are in the private subnets okay so we can see that two out of two checks are passed and uh, let us go towards a load balancer so this is the load balancer that we created and it in the in its listeners and rules it has one listeners and this is being forwarded towards a target group so let us go towards to this target group in this target group as you can see we have total of two target and both of the targets are the development VMs the EC2 instances that we have created in our private subnet so one is in US East 1A and the other is in US East 1B. You can see the health check. Okay, so let us go towards the security group also. Let me show you security groups that we have created. So these are the security groups that we created. One for the load balancer. Show you the inbound rules for this this is the inbound rule for the load balancer this is the inbound rule for our private subnet private subnet security group and this is the one which is for our uh, bastion host as you can see we have given it a type of ssh access tcp protocol and sources anywhere We have also created an elastic IP. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it. Let me just show you one more thing uh, because we will have to delete these resources that we created via Terraform. Now we will do a Terraform apply dash destroy dash auto dash approve. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you.